Ooh. I'd rather call her office first. Screenshot the messages, send them. Yeah, but he's on about the backup, so there's messages we don't have. And that's what Greg's after. I want to say call the office. Excellent. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into guessing to her computer. Oh, I've wasted enough time already. Not playing charades to get something that important. Are you doubting me? I'm just proposing alternatives. Okay, both of, you have a, both of you have good points, but if we phone and can't get it, then we go in. Because if we go in and you get caught, we're fucked. It's going, yeah, it's going to walk into a security firm and demand backups from one of their employees. Oh, please don't be uh, let it be pervy merv. Okay, boys, you have good points. I've done listening to you. I'm just gonna walk in and get the job done. Plain and simple. That's too reckless. Let's find a more indirect way. Just call one of her work friends. I know her better. She has no work friends. And what makes you think that you can use her computer so easily? We'll pretend to be Anna and sidle up to the pair from her work. He would do probably anything if he thought he had a chance. And then Greg's gonna get up at you because it's like, oh, who's trying to, trying to like get in with her from work now? Okay, so it's Taylor. Taylor's idea is the best. Two to one favor. And that's how democracy works. But Taylor, now I'm going to bin you. I feel like we're becoming in sync. Fine, be that way. I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I'm going anyways. We're making so much progress. I'm not working with the rebound guy. I'm going to find Anna. By myself. Go get the backup from her workplace your way. I'll do mine. I swear. If she did end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Greg left. You hate Greg so little more than I hate Taylor? Yeah. Okay, so that just happened. Fuck off, Greg. Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I gotta do it on my own. If we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There. <laughs> it's like it. a That was unexpected. You and me both. Elite is elite. We need to know who is Anna close with at work. Did you manage to check her emails? Oh man, uh, if you can read them all, that would be great. The boss is an asshole. Okay, the guy who's harassing her. Harassment. Nailed it. Can you use this? I get for some blackmail. What are you implying? I was just going to pretend to be Anna and be like, oh, hey, I backed up my phone there. Can you, you know, send it to me on my phone that I'm texting you from as Anna? Is that email against him? Tell him that you're turning him in, threaten him, make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for the harassment email. You can't trust a man who can also his bladder for at least three hours. <laughs> Uh, only you can think of something like this. For Anna. I'll do anything. Wait, wait, no. Oh, it works. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no need to respond. 
I uh, just want to try to call Anna's phone, see if it's working. Been trying to get it, and I, I finally did. <laughs> I guess next is to find her? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. <laughs> He's weaker than me when I was nine. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, anything except call the police. I know. Now, now I'm in the hole. Greg has a reason for doing anything and being upset because he was with her. For a con I'm, I'm going to guess for a while because for the their year together, she got him access, like the, the key card for her flat. But he's like, for Anna, I'll do anything. And these messages, um, when did they first meet? course Merv the perv <laughs> right no what's today's date oh we only get times don't we no is it 2017 it's supposed to be 2017 I bet it's somewhere on the phone and it would have been fucking simple to see 15th of August 2017 right so, it's Park Thing. Eighth of August. Uh, Taylor, maybe I should have went with Greg's idea. Uh, he gets attached quick. Well, we don't actually know what the other conversations were like in that time. We've only got snapshot at the beginning and the more recent stuff when we, we took over our phone. Right, and Ashley. Wait, that was there first. Yeah. Okay, let's go Ashley's. So I did not call Victor back. You remember him, right? Victor? Victor? Victor who? Victor. Oh no. Ah, I did it from the Victor. Right. I'm guessing yeah, there was a guy from the club. Yep. Greg's plan was dog shit. Well, I'm thinking he's just not right for me. Don't feel a connection, you know? Uh, I mean, it seems nice to me, but I don't know what he was like. Forget about him, but they might be too dismissive. Okay, let's go with what's your type. Am I too picky? Is there something wrong with me? Hmm. Okay, we got, maybe you need to talk to someone. The problems are not special and it'll be just the way you are. As your friend, she'd be like, to go. I love you too. I wish we should totally get together soon, okay? Ooh. We have managed to keep up appearances with Ashley. We're not to let her know. Where's this Merv? Close friends to the first one, is it creepy? Yeah. Uh, you can love what I have in mind for you. Oh. Oh no. See, I don't know which way we're trying to go with this. Am I going to go rogue and be like, can you do the backup for me? Or... Greetings, Merv. This doesn't sound... Easy to admit. Maybe? Yeah, he, he'll probably be like, 
it would be two things. He'd either be so besotted with us that he would be like, oh, yes, in my chance. Or he'd be like, she's changed her tune. So probably the greetings. Mm. Anna, where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. I need a favor. You never asked me for anything before. What gives? Um, I need you to get a phone back up from my PC, or can you restore my phone data from my PC? Be asking him rather than demanding. Using an our employee's PC is against policy. I can't do it yourself. Oh, I'm going to say it's not a company assignment. No. Family emergency. I don't know. No babies. We put those things in daycare. Yeah. Maybe if they say I'm caught up with something. I can't be right. Shit. You're not Anna, aren't you? Fuck, I should have known. Okay, we're done. Uh. Let's like start them? Yeah. Let me leak your dirty emails. Blackmail? Is that what's happening? You know I can get sued for sharing. Oh, no, you know I can get get sued for sharing company secrets, right? If you still want to access, uh, oh, if you still want to access Anna's computer, I'm not doing it. Why do I post your emails all over Jabber? I don't know if HR would do anything. But maybe I should go HR because she did post the email from the boss who was an asshole in Jabber and nothing came back about that. HR? No, 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 no. Okay, I'll do it. How did he call, like, going on? Uh, I have to hold this job in this economy as it is. I need to get a password reset for a PC. But HR will text her phone to verify. You have to pretend to be Anna, otherwise they'll never give me access. Well, the reason I was kind of going back and forth in the HR one was Anna had already had these emails and she had the one from her boss, which was just a wall of shouting. And it's like, who wouldn't have gone to HR about that? Apparently Anna. Not realising that Anna just didn't do a fucking thing about it. <sighs> uh, I'm not sure what tipped him off exactly. Maybe caught up with something was too vague? Maybe. Now, the only thing... Um... Oh, but then she should got caught up with work. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's easier said than done, apparently. You were doing a bang-up job earlier. <laughs> Let's get this over and done with, okay? Oh. 
Yeah, what it was with the whole thing with the boss's email. Do I still have access to them? This was the email that her boss sent. He may not have got fired, but he certainly should have got peeled up for it. <laughs> You're superior. I hear boss because my letters are bigger than yours. Yeah. Okay. Hey Anne, got your password reset request. I didn't see you in today. Is everything okay? Um I'm gonna say out with a client. Hmm, didn't know you were assigned to servicing today. Must have missed something. Where did we set your password? Can I run something by you first? Uh, what is it? No report you handed me uh, to me last week. Finally got to it. Um. Second or third? Oh, that I almost forgotten about it. Or ah, yes. Hope everything's in order. Why would I forget a report? Everything's in order. Because you wouldn't necessarily get a result from it. That seems a bit weird. Yeah. Oh no, you're cringing so bad you hate pretending to be other people. Yes, but I do need to clarify something. It is here that you're making <gasps> an official sexual harassment report against Merv. Shit. Shit. We always hate the pretending to be something you're not plotline in movies. Like, what if you're not though? What if you're Anna all this time, just hit your head and have, have amnesia? Okay, well one, where are we? Because we're certainly not where Anna lives. Where's our cat? You won't get the news before we're done with him? Well, I know, thanks for your hard work, Merv. Bye, Merv! I uh, go, yep, that's the one. I brought this up with my manager. They told me to tell you to think seriously think about this. Our company can't afford to get in a scandal right now. And sending lewd emails, while technically is reportable, is one of the smaller uh, offence. Or is this going to lead to something else? I know! How is it a smaller offence? What's the big one? <clears throat> oh shit. Why aren't you doing your fucking job, Elizabeth HR person? I feel like I'm gonna have to go all right. Uh, stick it down. We are here with an agenda, I know. I think I'm gonna have to go with that one then. All right. His word's not mine. So he suggests you drop the report. I will have a talk with Merv. Well behind and he might approve that study leave you've been meaning to get. If you want, you can still let the report go through. Forcing Mr. Faraday's hand is just going to upset him. Oh, but the boss is a dick.
She's not being a girl boss right now, minimising the impact and seriousness of sexual harassment in the workplace. Mm. Gaslight gatekeeping, girl not bossing right now. I think I want to send a report. Because the boss is an asshole. I think I want to. This isn't even... Yeah, it's the right thing to do. This isn't even about Merv anymore. This is about the boss to me. Being like, oh, we're trying to sweep it under the, the rug. It's like, no. End report. If you insist. Okay, consider it done. Personally, I think you're doing the right thing. Oops, I almost forgot. Just reset your password. See you at the barbecue. What barbecue? Got to reset and I'm in. Are you still clearing your task? Yeah, yeah, get the phone back up, right? Give me a sec. Start now. It's gonna take a while to complete. I don't understand what's going on. But you're not the only one who wants access to this computer. Someone else. While I'm waiting for the reset, some dude came by demanding to use Anne's computer. Uh, he caused quite a scene and security came away. I think his name is Greg. Is he with you? I'm going to say I might know him. Well, getting him in was not part of the deal. Friend's going to regret doing that. Oh, did you get it? Oh, he didn't. Wait, he just fucked off? Finally, it's done. Did you get it? I can't reply. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck, right off. Nothing. Uh, have you... Oops, shit, my one. Have you found her yet? I love that it's mostly a night time to, like, j just tipping over midnight. Most of these things are happening. <sighs> Not yet. Wait, this is the 13th? Two days before. Hurry. Mm. Oh shit. Do do she is running out of time. You need to hurry. Can you help me? Oh shit, we're going back in these? 13th to the 12th? Oh, is this because it's... Is whatever happened, did it happen at that time of night? Between the 12th and the 13th? Find me. <gasps> Ooh. Answer. Is in the spark. No. <laughs> the answer is in spark. Fucking hell. The answer is in spark.
I don't know what to look for. She met me. <clears throat> she met it. I'm not it. It is not me. Find me, find it. I'm gonna guess she probably is, but I still don't know who you are. I cannot remember. Time is short. If you fail. Oh god, she will share my fate. What, stuck in a, cl a phone? Oh no. So Saru's made. Oh, that's the eyes getting wider and then we're dead. They've s sent that before. Are we going to have another image change for her? <sighs> okay, nothing. Oh, she's smiling now. That's even creepier. Right, what do we have? All previous spark meshes have been restored. Ashley never finds out and find Anna. Let's go with... Did they say there was new things? Yes, there was. Oh, there we go. Spark. Weekly sparkles. Six ways globalization can help you find love. Uh, the world is our oyster. It is real, connected, and more than ever before, we can get anywhere at a fraction of the cost during our grandparents' time. It's a great period to fall in love. Here are six ways we think you can use globalization to your advantage. One, data connection. And should it Digital Cupid ever straight gold, and you are on cloud nine, be assured that should you ever need to go back to your homeland and manage a long distance relationship, there's a far cry from the long months of waiting for a snail mail between lovers. Keep in touch in all sorts of ways. Calls, messages, videos, even the occasional surprise delivery from online shopping to keep the flames stoking. A niche interest. Like why why are you your your old timey roller skis? Demographics no longer an issue. Finding love is not based on race, language, gender, or even location. It's down to background, or rather, very interesting niche interests you both have. Find common ground using the power of the interwebs, where broadband equalizes your chances to meet someone who is a <laughs> oh no, who is as obsessed with Nyan Cat as you are. Digital booking. Now that you've landed, need a place to stay? Sure, you can always bunk with your potential partner, but if circumstances or traditional parents are in the way, then use any of the current means of online booking of lodging exactly your needs. Uh, including when your other half decides to pop by for an intimate visit. <laughs> I know. A uh, language bridge, speak different languages, no problem. The growing body of translation apps on your device say farewell to moments that get lost in translation. Learning a new language or finding digital assistance with current conversations is only a touch screen swipe away. Let's not uh, let not conversational barriers stop you from falling in globalized love. Cheap flights. All kinds of digital services can help you keep track. The best flights to meet your better half, including special promos and mileage bonuses, even finding the most obscure travel routes known to the industry. No place is too remote to find your true love. Social media. Let the internet be your cupid. Whether social platforms, blogs, dating sites, or just plain fan groups, there are plenty of spaces to interact and make the hot connection. I feel like they, they think everywhere is just a big hookup. Dating through Google Translate sounds so romantic, yeah. 